Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And as always, there's always a couple guys who do lock me out for these creative prospects. I know you guys want to get to that. I'll get to all of them in a second, but there's a couple that did lock me out, including Amir Johnson. He was an outside linebacker out of New York. He was a pass rusher. Hudson McJagger from Georgia. He also locked me out. And what's funny about this is that I cannot control it. I just cannot control it. I don't know what it is, but I mean, some of these guys just lock me out. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's kind of hard to create these guys and at least get them to be interested because a lot of these creative prospects are from all over so i try to at least streamline it to a few states i do include some states that i usually don't recruit in but i mean a lot of these schools it's kind of i mean a lot of these states it's kind of hard to recruit in especially when you know they have in-state in-state uh colleges trying to recruit these guys and it's kind of hard to keep up so i mean there's just a few guys here um as well as oh, yates here cameron yates i think he was actually the best prospect i've made um and he locked me out as as well as one more recruit there was a guard out of wisconsin i'm forgot his name okay here he goes uh george Sal salvatierra so it looks like he locked me out as well he was actually a guy I was looking to get because I do need a guard. I don't know. I don't have a deep uh, offensive line class this year, but let's just jump into the recruit. So I haven't ordered any of this, so don't worry. It's not ordered by priority. It's just I just added everybody to the board. So Joshua Wesselman is the first guy here, a center out of Roseville, California. Let's actually unlock some of his skills. Um, so he comes out to a 72 overall center. So he's actually going to be pretty valuable to me. So let's keep moving down the line. Gene Ballon, outside linebacker, number 92 out of Miami, Florida. Let's unlock some of his. So we're actually going to unlock two, every two guys. So these two, we're not going to unlock their attributes because I want to make sure I have enough points to unlock uh, a lot of guys on our board. So Michael Price, uh, he's a free safety, 67 overall right now out of Bloomingsdale, Florida. I'm going to unlock all these attributes next week. Um, so you'll get to see what the true skills are for some of these guys. Some of these guys, I'm not going to unlock all of it at right away. So Eric Johnson, uh, Marietta, Georgia. We do need an outside linebacker because remember uh, Wiley. I don't know about him and we don't know what we're going to ha have as far as pass rush to help out Hunter Greggs and Todd Williams. So we'll see how that goes. Anthony Lawrence, a cornerback out of Chicago, number 79. Uh, let's actually unlock his rating and see how he is. So he's only 64 overall. And it, let me see what his ranking is. 79, I don't think much, many teams are going to go after him. So we'll see Ronnie Smith, a 58 overall middle linebacker uh, out of Chicago, Illinois. He's a number 38 middle linebacker at 58 overall. That can't be right. So let's unlock his ratings. So it looks like he goes up to a 66 overall. It looks like he has some zone coverage. He's kind of athletic. He's got hit power, 84, so we need to keep an eye on him. Jack Kleck, a tight end. We're actually going to lock this guy because we do need a tight end. Remember, we have Rubrite, but I'm just not sold on Rubrite. He's just a decent tight end. I don't really – I don't know. It's kind of hard to use him, especially in the passing game because I have my tight end on the field a lot. So it looks like he grades out to 68 overall, 77 catch and 77 uh, speed. He's pretty decent, 71 run block and 72 impact block because we definitely need that. Rod Roberson, we're not going to unlock him because we don't really need a quarterback, so I don't want to unlock his ratings right away. Uh, he comes out of Louisville, Kentucky. It looks like he has decent ratings as well. Brandon Hodgkiss, it looks like he's a tight end. Uh, let's actually unlock his ratings, see how he is. So he's 69 overall, 76 run block, and we do need blocking at tight end. Trust me, it's very, very important. Anthony Brunson, a defensive tackle. Flint, Michigan, 6'3", 280. Uh, let's unlock his next week. Uh, Raekwon Shanahan looks like he's a cornerback out of uh, Montana, looks like. So Anaconda, Montana, number 24 corner, 5'10", 195. You know what? Let's actually, let's, let's not unlock him. We will unlock him next week. Michael Mercer, a strong safety. Remember, we do need a safety. And I don't know what we're going to do at the safe position going forward because we are going to lose Vince Cohen soon. Paul Miller's a senior, so I don't know. So let's unlock his rating. So it looks like he's 88 speed, 71 overall, 76 zone, 72 press, 71 tackle. He has decent, uh, looks like he has decent cover skills. I mean, it's okay, not anything too great, but uh, we do need another linebacker. And we have a lot of middle linebackers in this class. So let's go to the middle linebacker. So let's go Rami, 
Ramey McGraw. So it looks like he's 67 overall. Let's unlock what he is. So it looks like he's 72 overall, which is pretty good. 82 tackle. Uh, it's only 68 zone, though, and he's not too fast. So we're going to have to probably use him in the run block uh, to stop the run a little more. But let's keep going on the line. Okay, so this is actually an important position because, remember, we're going to lose Alex Brown. Alex Brown is a junior this season. So I'm actually going to move this guy up right away. Let's put him in the top five. I don't know what he's going to be, but we do need a running back. So let's unlock his ratings. Patrick Tochi. Uh, looks like he's out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, 5'9", 175. He's a little guy, so... He has some speed. It looks like he's shifty as well, like just like Alex Brown was. So maybe he can use a year of red shirting because when he's a freshman, if he comes to our school, Alex Brown will be a senior. So let's keep going down the line here. So uh, so it looks like Griffin Reedy, a receiver. And remember, Eddie McCray uh, is going to be graduating. So we're probably going to need to replace him with a receiver. We don't know who he's going to get. So let's let's unlock these next two guys griffin reedy let's see what he comes out to be 71 overall uh 70 elusiveness pretty good 75 catching 80 route running uh let's look at jameel aziz uh looks like he's from milwaukee so he's 6'3, 190 uh looks like he grades out to ooh, he's a pretty good receiver 92 speed 90 excel 81 elusiveness 74 catching he's definitely got to work on his route running at 67 overall uh, looks like Brandon Martinez is the next guy, middle linebacker. Uh, looks like he's 74 overall. Let's see where he's from. So he's from Green Bay, Wisconsin. He's the number one middle linebacker. So let's just unlock him. So he's going to be 74 overall, 80 hit power, 77 tackling, 82 speed, 72 zone. Okay, so he's number one middle linebacker. We got to move him up. We got to make him number one priority because we know he's not going to have uh, I mean, he's going to have a lot of schools looking after him. So, Justin Jones, another free safety. Let's unlock him. Okay, 86B, 86 Excel, 70 zone and man. He's pretty good in coverage. So, uh, let's just see where he's from. So, he's from Franklin, Wisconsin. So, it looks like his deal breaker is playing time. So, I don't know if they're going to let me go after him. That's weird because some guys, they lock out and they just don't allow me to go after right away. But for some reason... He has a deal breaker, but they still let me add him to the board. So Ethan Lecker, uh, he's a kicker. It looks like we're first on his board, too. So let's unlock him. So he's decent. 79 th uh, kick power, 69 kick accuracy out of Marshfield, Wisconsin. Alex Vogel, a, a tackle. We definitely need some offensive linemen. This guy's out of Janesville, Wisconsin. Um, looks like he's 6'2", 240. So he's a little bit small for a tackle. But he does have some decent ratings. 80 pass block. Bobby Carter is next. Another tackle. Let's see what he is. So he's out of Mequon, Wisconsin. Looks like uh, he grades out to be a 65 overall. So not too impressive. Charlie Cook, Warrington, Florida. Looks like he's 5'10", uh, 183. So he's a smaller guy. But he's number 14 corner of the nation. So let's see what he grades out to be. 60 overall. So he's lower as well. Outside linebacker Roger Brown uh, out of Fastoria, Ohio let's actually leave him to be unlocked um but we do have an athlete here so we're actually second on his list so let's unlock this guy he's john cooper out of munhall pennsylvania let's see exactly what position he's going to be uh let's so he's 75 overall looks like he's got 80 speed 80, 80, 88 excel um he looks like he cannot play offense at all looks like he's a straight defender so it looks like he's a it looks like he's a corner i think it looks like he has more cover skills and tackling skills so let's move him up and we have 100 points left so let's unlock some other guys that we haven't unlocked yet so let's see so michael price another uh I'll, actually let's let's unlock eric johnson so outside linebacker because uh, we do need a pass rusher so it looks like he well i don't know what he's really good at here it looks like he's got high pursuit 90 excel uh 71 tackle so he's just decent this is a guy we'll probably have to redshirt so he probably will take a year to progress up to starting level uh let's just see one more guy okay anthony brunson he's a defensive tackle but we don't really need a defensive tackle actually we do need defensive tackle because we don't have much depth there so actually let's unlock him anthony brunson so he, he ends up being 74 overall so i mean pretty decent um recruiting board so far i mean there was a couple guys we were locked out for 
But, I mean, obviously the biggest prospect is Brandon Martinez being 74 overall. So it's definitely somebody that we're going to want to go after. Uh, but other than that, we'll have to reorder this and see how it goes going into week one. But let's hop into who's going to be the impact players this season. Who's going to be the newcomers? I mean, who's going to win the starting quarterback job? That's what we got to figure out. So let's hop into it. Let's see. Albert Vick, 6'6", 260. He got the starting nod over Caden Joseph, and he did have a height advantage over him. He's 6'6", and Caden Joseph's only 5'11", so he definitely has a size advantage. He just doesn't have the accuracy advantage, but I think that he can make up with that because he has a better arm. I mean, his arm strength is at 82. Caden Joseph's around 76, so he's definitely going to be able to make the throws that Caden Joseph couldn't make and also a lot of those tip passes at the line there's not going to be a lot of them and especially since he's got the newcomer Rafael Wheeler protecting him he's definitely not going to be taking a lot of hits because we've had problems with keeping our guys healthy during the season but Albert Vick's looking forward and 6-6 I mean he's not going to take a big beating and especially since Ashton Cohen had that small frame Vick's going to be looking to take over for him and lead us for the next four years. So Raphael Wheeler, I initially recruited him to be a left tackle, but I actually like him at right tackle because he's got higher pass blocking. He's 6'8", 288, so he is a big guy. And it's definitely gonna help that Albert Vick is 6'6", so he can look over the right side of the line. But it's definitely needed. I mean, we need a pass blocker on the right side because remember, our right tackle gave up eight sacks last year. So having him on the line is definitely going to be better. 87 pass block, 76 run block, 83 impact block. So he's definitely going to need, need to help that whole offensive line. And we kind of got a young offensive line. So he's definitely going to be an anchor on that line. And he's going to look to protect Vic because we can't get any more injuries on at the quarterback position this year because we had too many last year so let's move on to defense curtis jones 6'6 330 since we only had two really new starters on the offense side of the ball curtis jones is a defensive tackle and we definitely did not have any impact at defensive tackle last season so curtis jones is gonna be looking to make a bigger one than the other two uh defensive tackles we had rotating in last year and he's a big guy so he's got 86 strength he's gonna be more of a run stuffer because we gotta look for somebody who's gonna take on those double teams leaving room for todd williams and hunter Gregs to get after the quarterback and also those linebackers that i sent on the blitz so he's gonna be clogging up the middle and he's gonna use that big frame so I had a decision to make at the linebacker position because LaRue Wiley just cannot be trusted. He has the attributes, but he just, when he gets into the game, he just cannot perform. So Corey Lursch is actually the transfer linebacker we had two seasons ago. He's It's finally his senior year, and he's going to get the start. He's got 88 speed, so you know he's going to get out the ball quickly and he's got some big shoes to fill and i like that he's got the senior leadership he's definitely going to be at the number one middle linebacker spot but with a 3-4 defense you expect two middle linebackers on the field so he's definitely going to be that mike and he's going to be on the field along with his running mate red johnson and you might be thinking red johnson what happened to ron sands but ron sands is actually going to move to left outside linebacker that's what he initially played in high school he's going to move there to his natural position i moved him over to middle linebacker but i like red johnson at middle linebacker he he has a lot of raw talent because he doesn't have the coverage skills he doesn't have the awareness really but he has the speed he doesn't have the hit power he does need to work on his technique a little bit he's got 68 play recognition 60 man 71 zone but he's definitely going to get better i can definitely see him getting better throughout the season especially with his athletic ability 89 excel 88 speed so having him and lurch at the middle linebacker position is definitely going to help make our defense a lot faster and be able to cover a lot of these athletes that we're going up against with these big teams so going through the final depth chart, we're just going to run through this really quick. So Albert Vick is going to get the start at quarterback. Caden Joseph is going to be backing him up. And then Patrick Williams is not going to get redshirt. He's going to be that third string 
because uh, we do need three good quarterbacks and I just want to make sure that none of my quarterbacks are going to get hurt just in case case one does we do have an insurance plan Alex Brown and Jimmy Ward no change at running back really uh, Christopher Ruba is actually going to play fullback this year so he's going to get in a lot uh, looking at receiver though Kevin Oliver is actually going to play in the slot so Jamel Cooley is going to be first Eddie McCray on the other side and then Kevin Oliver in the slot and then Ben Miller is going to play that fourth receiver role because we did lose Herman Rogers we had Herman Rogers here but Ben Miller is going to play that fourth receiver role so that means that Ruba is going to be on the field a lot more and then Jackson Lindahl is actually going to get a lot more playing time he had 95 speed he had some pretty good catches last season so um it's gonna be cool to see him in the game a different guy coming off the bench because a lot of my receivers get tired pretty quickly so uh he's definitely gonna be getting to some valuable playing time adam grant at left tackle he did a pretty good job last season i think he only gave up two sacks so yeah he only gave up two sacks down from five a year ago two years ago so he definitely made an improvement there and he's a junior so he's got another year to start brian rodriguez i initially uh recruited him to be a tackle but i moved him over to guard he's better at run blocking so i stuffed him inside six seven he's pretty big david thomas is actually going to be at center he's naturally left guard but i like him at center buck kilgore is going to continue at right guard and rafael wheeler at right tackle left end is going to be ty williams no change there with javon pennington backing him up hunter greggs as well on the right end he's a freshman all-american they're going to be looking to build off of that successful season they had they both had the same number of sacks last season so Curtis Jones is going to be that freshman starter in the middle. Ron Sand is actually going to be at left outside linebacker with LaRue Wiley backing him up. So Ron Sand's definitely going to get his chance to get after the quarterback this year. Corey Lursch at the first middle linebacker spot. Red Johnson right behind him. Dylan Mack at right outside. And then at corners, I'm actually going to have John Waters on the outside like always. Jetter is going to be on the left side of the field, so he's going to be uh, in a new position this year. Remember, I had him there at the end of last season, but then Josh Dunbar is going to slot inside because I just want to see what changes he's going to make because a lot of times he was getting burnt, and it might be because of his acceleration. His acceleration is only 81, so is Jetter, so I'm a little bit weary of it, but hopefully it works out. And then at the free safety, Vince Cohen. At Paul Miller at strong safety and then uh, kick return we're actually gonna have Paul Miller returning these kicks this year he's got 96 speed 97 97 speed 96 acceleration Robert Minnick backing him up and then Paul Miller returning punts as well so the real change here is gonna be the quarterback position Albert Vick it's gonna be a well, it's gonna be pretty tough to get used to a new quarterback but I'm sure it won't be much of an adjustment he's kind of the same quarterback Cohen was and he's a lot bigger though so maybe the chemistry will just come there naturally it'll be there right away but we'll see so hit subscribe hit that like button